Scorpios, and welcome to your monthly horoscope for July of 2020, where this month, Scorpio, we're going to make some adjustments. <laughs> we've got a third eclipse happening. I feel like every other week we've had an eclipse since June. So we've got another one coming, and this one is going to land square in your third house as well to kick off and start this month. We've got Saturn, who's already retrograde, moving that retrograde back into the energy of Capricorn. So we're going to adjust this third house area. This is the area of communication, decisions that you've been making, education, teachings, definitely the siblings get on the chopping block when we come into the third house, as well as far as what's their impact. Students, writing, these things are going to make adjustments, but I do have to tell you, because we're in such high retrograde energy still this month, I mean, we get Mercury who comes out of retrograde, Venus is out of retrograde, but we've still got some big bodies traveling in retrograde. I think what happens is we begin to make the adjustments here and you don't necessarily see them all kick in until we get to September. Okay, we're going to be delayed a little bit because of the retrograde action, which doesn't mean nothing happens for you in July. But I think, you know, keep an open mind about when the changes are going to actually manifest themselves based on when the, we are making the changes to them right now. Okay. All right, Scorpio, let's jump in and let's talk about what's going on this month. So right away, coming into the month, July 1st is when we're going to see that Saturn retrograde moving back into the energy of Capricorn. Now, again, this isn't new. You've been looking at this. You've been working on this for a couple years. In the third house, this is communication. Are you, um, you know, are you a teacher? Are you an author? And you were starting to write or you were doing something like that or you were, were writing and then something got in the way and you've had to course correct with it. Education has changed for sure, right? If you've been teaching courses, you've been a part of conferences, you've been doing whatever, those things have been delayed and there's been a little bit of a disruption to it. Now, even for our normal students or teachers, this could be a little disruption. And when I say students, I want to focus in here on um, below college age, right? It doesn't mean that our higher education things don't get swept up in these energies that you're reorganizing, reviewing, taking some discipline or some organization and structure back to. But third house, I really want to focus on below college level education okay now when we get to the fifth and we get this full moon lunar eclipse happening now we can jump and also look at this ninth house also look at college levels beliefs ideas um philosophies i wouldn't even be surprised if in your life you don't see um places of worship or maybe people who were mentors or teachers to you, they're having a little something going on as this lunar eclipse hits. Even though this lunar eclipse is going to light up and bring ending acknowledgement and adjustment Scorpio to your third house, the ninth house will also by proxy get a nice little hit of this information. So, oh, I am getting for somebody... If you are in a legal situation or you're having to make a decision in a legal situation, there's a turn of events in the case. There's a turn of events in the information presented. So if that's you, please let me know in the comment section down below. Now, again, though, because this lunar eclipse says end, acknowledge, or adjust, this is going to take about six months because eclipse energy creates a shift and a disruption that plays out in about six months instead of the four weeks. So keep an eye on this third house. Are your siblings changing? Is there something different happening? And also at this particular time of the eclipse around the fifth, if you don't need to travel, unnecessary travel, if you can leave it alone, please do so. We are still in a Mercury retrograde. This is heavy in your third house. Gadgets and things like that love to not talk to each other, not work right, things like that. So if you can avoid unnecessary travel at this time, that would be great. But instead, um, if you do need to travel, especially if it's work related or something, you know, take the wind with you, wind in your sails and go do it for sure. On the 11th, we see Chiron, our wounded healer, heading into a retrograde energy until December. Now, Chiron's retrograde, this is the hole in our soul. This is our wound. In the energy of Aries, this is about identity. And this lights up your sixth house, daily routines, health and wellness, service, co-workers. If you do employ people, these are your employees down here. This is also a space for freelance or contract workers. Definitely fall here and small pets, okay? So as, as Chiron is retrograding here in Aries, the phrase that keeps coming to me, Scorpio, is to thine own self be true. 
in this area of your life and how you care for your health and what you do in your daily routine. Are you being true to yourself? And we've just had a lunar eclipse that is shedding all kinds of light over your thinking, over your patterns, over your perception. Are you taking responsibility for <clears throat> your daily routine, for your schedule? Are you overbooked? Are you underbooked? Are you eating something that's causing all that acid reflux and you're like, I don't know what's happening. You know, where to thine own self can you really be true and accept your role and your identity in your own world but also I think in this sixth house it is a place where um, I feel like do you accept who you are at this point in your life do you accept that life is what it is at this point right maybe you've been expecting yourself to be a little bit further than you were expecting things to look different but where are you just owning all of the Scorpio here in this particular identity. Now, <clears throat> for some of you as well, I'm getting a sense of needing a different practitioner. You just need a different health practitioner. Um, but there's a block to that. So if that's you, this energy would likely pass by the end of the month. So if you're re-looking at something in your health practice or with the health practitioner and you're feeling blocked right now, um, consider where you can do more research at this particular time, but know that that block will likely be lifted by the end of this month, okay? All right, on the 12th, we see Mercury coming out of retrograde in the energy of Cancer. Now on the 12th is the stationing day. So this is the day where there's a lot of instability typically, right? So give Mercury a couple days just to resume his orbit, get back in the flow of things. We humans will adjust and then we can start to move things forward. Now, again, this is going to come direct and move forward, give you decision making, clear communication in the ninth house. Now, we've had all of this work at the beginning of the month that was happening and creating disruption or shift or energetic movement in the third house. Now we've got Mercury clear to make some decisions and cancer up here in the ninth house. Truly, if you have a legal situation going on, this could be where the information in the case does it's adjusting or sometime in this next six months. But certainly here, <clears throat> I feel like this is a question too of advanced study or advanced movement. Do I want to take on this training? Do I want to go to this school? Do I want to study with this person? What do I believe here? What do I believe about social justice policies and things like that? All of these come up. And now though, the head and the heart are in alignment. I think there's some clarity as Mercury comes direct here in Cancer. There's some emotional intelligence on the table that is giving you this sense of clarity so you can be in a better place to make clear decisions moving forward from this ninth house area. Now on the 20th, we're also going to have a new moon happening at 28 degrees of Cancer. So this is the new moon that says plant your seeds of intention here for these fresh beginnings over the next four weeks. Now this one is not an eclipse. So this is going to last about four weeks, but plant your seeds of intention. What do you want to nurture here? What do you think brings more security to this area of your life? It's very Cancerian. Trust your intuition. Trust your instincts. Trust your emotions. And then align them with the help of Mercury, who's showing up to this moon, full-fledged, ready to roll, ready to make some decisions. Now, as we close out this month, we're going to see the sun moving into the energy of Leo. And the sun is at home in the energy of Leo. So that's always a lot of power when a planet is in its ruling sign, so it's in full capacity, and it's at the tip top of your chart Scorpio so this is beautiful the sun brings light heat life and motivation so there is movement in the career zone now if this is not just career if you're retired you don't work whatever the situation is this is also about what you are doing and what you are giving to the world how you are showing up what do we know you as in your community are you mr. or mrs. somebody right are you the volunteer organizer what do you do and what do you give to the world either way the sun is bringing movement here. It's creative. It's very, very social. You maybe want to show off a little something. There could definitely be opportunities coming your way to do some work. We've had Chiron retrograde in the sixth house, and that beams, and Mars is also over there, that beams with opportunity. Right? So there could be some opportunities in work or in um, a project for you to be working on with this particular set of energy. So I have um, no doubt, Scorpio, that it is going to be an eventful month, but it is one that I think you get to do reviews 
you get to make changes. There are some disruptions that come to the table in order to shake you up, but I also truly think that you don't see some of those for a couple months down the road. But whatever presents itself to you, grab it, move forward with the best information that you can, and welcome the energies to your table for sure, okay? All right, Scorpios, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love you a ton, and I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye, Scorpio.